Hey guys, welcome to our latest video about the built-in FTP upload of LiveScore. This allows you to upload your current game data to your online server, where you can use it in any way, such as fetching the data inside your mobile apps or from your website. So what we have here is a prepared baseball game and we open the generous settings of LiveScore. So the FTP ticker section gives you the option to provide everything you need. So you can enable, disable the whole functionality. You can provide an access key so you avoid having your game data public on the internet. And then you have the basic credentials to connect to your FTP server. So you usually get this data from your hoster and it includes the host, a port, the remote path, so the directory and some credentials like username and password. So we now make sure we have it enabled and we can set a custom interval of four seconds in our case. We just verify that our credentials are all correct. Have a username and password ready. And then we can test our connection and yeah, connection successfully established, which is a good thing. You can of course export and import everything so you do have a backup for later on. And once you're ready, we just make sure our output is enabled and then we start the whole feature using our blue start button. If you now take a look at the console, you see that with the interval of every four seconds, our data or file is being uploaded to your server. So let's just change a few things like increasing runs. And now let's head over to my FTP client. So this is just a basic FTP client and I do have the current directory on my server opened. So we just open the file that LiveScore did just upload. And there we go. We have an, uh, a full XML content with, with our full game. So game state, team names, innings, line score, everything you usually need to do something with that data. So the next thing you probably are interested in is how you use that file. So you use it obviously using the HTTP protocol, aka your browser. And then we just access the full domain and URL, including our game PHP. And let's change anything or, or wait until any updates are being transferred. So if we now reload it, we do see the file, the content, so it doesn't quite look like a real XML in my browser, but it is a full XML. It's just um, not displayed in that way. But this is how you basically consume and fetch your data on a technical base inside your, as already mentioned, your app or from your website. Let's hide our file behind an access key. So we go back to the FTP ticker settings, provide access key one to three, restart our game engine so that is always necessary, change a few things, and then we go back to our browser. And what is happening if we reload? You see, we got 401, which is access denied, because we do have to provide the key one to three. So that is a get parameter done with question mark key equals one to three. And then we do have access one more time. And this is also the reason, as you can see, why it's a PHP file, because it automatically, as soon as you provide an access key, it automatically adds that access layer to the file. So this is the basic approach on how to upload your live score data based on XML to your online server. So how you use that file and that data, that is totally up to you and probably need some technical experience. That's everything about the FTP ticker of LiveScore. Thank you for watching. Have fun using it.